and we've got to figure out what's a perpendicular slope to negative 3 fourths. How much is that? 4 thirds. Good. Yeah, we flip it. We also change the sign. And this is the one that's going to be used right now on our point slope. You see, we have the point, we have the slope. That means we can fill out y minus y1 equals m, x minus x1, with the things that we're given. We have x1, we have y1, we now have our m. Are we going to use this m up here? No, definitely not. We're going to use the one that said perpendicular because that's what our equation is, or that's what our problem is referring to. So we'll do the y minus negative 3. That's going to be in those parentheses because we're subtracting a negative that will eventually change to a plus. Equals 4 thirds x minus 8 because x1 is 8. After that, we'll simplify just a little bit before we distribute. We'll have the y plus 3 on the left-hand side, and now we'll get to distribute this thing. On the right-hand side, we'll get the 4 thirds x. Then we'll have minus, oh, that fraction doesn't reduce. That's going to be 32 over 3. Do you see how I'm getting 32 over 3? Good. You have 4 thirds times 8 over 1. 32 over 3. My goodness. The last step is going to be to do what? Subtract 3 from both sides. We still have to do that even though you have a fraction over here. So when we subtract 3, we'll get y equals. Those 3's are gone. We do get the 4 thirds x. But then here we have minus 30, 32 thirds minus 3. So do that off to the side if you'd like. You just have to take the sign with it, so the minus will treat that like a negative. Minus 3, common denominator of 3, negative 32 thirds minus 9 thirds. That's going to give you negative. minus 41 thirds. Would you like to graph that one? No. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah, you could though, right? Go down 41 thirds, whatever that happens to be. Uh, <laughs> and then from there, go up 4 over 3. And that's, that's how you graph that. It'd be kind of nasty to do, because you're dealing with lots of fractions. It's actually not, not too bad, but you could do it. I hope you'll feel good about parallel and perpendicular. Awesome.